Baba. 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 Welcome to the Gender Chat Show. I'm your host, Adeza Wankwa. Today promises to be fun and exciting. Olubide is unavoidably absent, but don't worry, you've got me and I've got you. Today we'll be discussing internet dating. People go to the internet to find love and there are some people who go searching for fun, but then love finds them. Is it real? How do we recognize first as do we worry that you get to a certain age and you can't find someone to love you in the physical world, so you settle for internet love? Internet dating, how is it helping our society? Um, some people argue that for those who date online, there is a tendency to promote pornography because married people who are trying to escape from marital issues go online to have sex. Sex. And um, there is a problem of meeting Frosta, who will swindle you of your money. Um, for those of us who think it's okay to find love on the internet, the world has become a global village and there's a place for finding love anywhere. You can be in Nigeria dating someone in Germany or in America or in Asia, wherever. How do you know who is real? How do you know who is a Frosta? And is Facebook really a platform for finding love? All these are much more of what we'll be discussing on the Gender Chat Show today. Please don't go anywhere. We'll go on a short break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome back. It's still the Gender Chat Show, and we are discussing internet dating. If you're just joining us, feel free to grab a cup of coffee or something because this promises to be fun and exciting. Joining me in the studio today to discuss this topical issue is Mrs. Mercy Ibezim. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Ada. Mrs. Ibezim is an accountant. Uh, would you like to say more about what you do? Yeah, I'm an accountant. I work with a company in Kano, okay. so I had to travel down to Lagos wow, here. Wow, so, so hmm. happy to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm happy us. to be here too. And uh, we also have Jennifer Uzowane. Jennifer is a student of University of Port Harcourt. What department? Um, linguistics and Communication. Standards. Linguistics and Communication. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Okay, we're dis discussing internet dating. Is it real? Can you find love online? Yes, to a large extent, I would say yes. You can find internet online because I've seen relationships that actually worked, that started from the internet and it was the internet that sustained those relationships to the point of marriage. So I would say yes. How long before they decided to meet physically? Well, like a couple of years. A couple of years? Yes. They were mostly Skyping and exchanging mails and chatting. And then finally when they decided to meet, they finalized and legalized everything. <laughs> Interesting. Jenny? Yeah, I actually believe her because it happens, but me, I feel like it's a 50 50 kind of thing, like give or take, it could, it could not. So, how would you spice up romance when it comes to internet dating? Everybody's always like, oh, loveless, loveless relationship, there's no romance, it's not romantic, she's not romantic. So, how would you spice up romance when it comes to online dating? The internet has a lot of platforms, you don't just exchange mails, there's Skype where you could mm -hmm. actually video chat. I get to see the person, you get to talk and like have a feel, like a virtual feel of the person. So yes, you may not meet physically and you know, there's not, um, um, that physical intimacy is not there. But Jenny doesn't quite <laughs> agree that you could have, get to share with Yeah, for me, I am just not romantic at all. So when it comes to stuff like that, I don't know, like I feel, you know, it, has so to it be becomes harder yes. online. If you mm -hmm. can do it physically, <laughs> it then definitely um, online. Very, very hard. Then how do you how do you um, see the real people from the first stars? We'll have the Yahoo Yahoo people. You get to meet people you really like online, but because of past experience of heartbreak and being swindled of your cash, how do you see the first stars from the real people searching for love? 
yeah, like Jenny said, it's like a 50-50 chance. So out of that negative 50%, there are the fraudsters. So we we'll just bank on the 50%. Yeah. Yeah. So usually they are they after something. Take the risk. It's either they want your money or maybe they want to violate you. So you may just have to trust your gut and then be very attentive to details. Mm. Because the person is, is a professional and is used to, like for the Yahoo guys, is used to defrauding people mm -hmm. online. Yeah. So you may have to be really, really careful and wow. very observant because um, along the way, the person might like slip up yeah, and then you can sense. easily pick that and then discern and know, okay, this is what the person wants. And then for those after money, Usually after a period of time, sometimes they are not even patient enough to like sustain the relationship. Mm -hmm. They'll just go and be like, ah, just cook up some story and tell you, okay, I need money and this and that. Mm -hmm. And then you can easily pick up, okay, this is what this person is after. It's not just after a relationship. This person wants something from me. So you have to be really careful and then trust, trust yourself, trust your gut, and then trust the person to instinct. Yeah. Mm. Jenny. How much of yourself should be put out there? How much of mm. information about you, your family, what you do, your business, your finances, do you think? How much is too much? <laughs> how much is too little? Because the other person too wants to know you. Yeah. Yeah. The same way you want to know the other person, the other person mm -hmm. too wants to know you. How much of yourself would you put, do you think it's advisable for anybody to put out there? For me, personal, literally nothing. So I'm being clear, so it's more like... You really wouldn't give any information, even no. if you trust the person? Yes, even if the trust is there, it's more like, hmm, let's just see what happens, but it's just going to be... You give me, just tell me everything about you, and I'll be like, okay, I'm just this and that, but I won't tell you literally everything, so... You, do you agree with that? Um, you want information about the person, yes, and you expect that yes. the person should want the same information yes. about it. So, mm, so I don't really see that relationship going anywhere. It's more like if you no love me or you disclosure. claim to love me, you just have to you know, move along. But if the person is loving closure. you, it's, it becomes mutual at a point. Uh, because you would, it's, it's, it's a two-way thing. You wouldn't be in a relationship with someone who doesn't love you. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. So you, you're not willing to share information. And um, if you're not willing to share information, how would you sustain it? How is it, how is it sustainable if information is denied? I quite agree with her. Um, you don't share everything. There's no full disclosure. But there are some basic things that you just have to Life. let the person yeah. know. Okay, my location, my age, what I do. But when it comes likes to like dislikes. likes and dislikes, maybe when it comes to like my financial position okay mm -hmm. how much i earn or what i do exactly and all that you can be very very like hard to yeah, handle very careful with that information you don't just release it to anyone and then you know there are sites where um they are like very secure let me use the word secure yeah. it's not just everybody that can get on that platform uh, they are mostly serious minded people who are after relationships yeah, mm. so when you're on such sites, I think there's also a level of disclosure you could make. Okay. Yeah. Jenny. Yeah, I actually believe I agree to what she's saying. Like, you know, there are some basic things you need to let the person know. But when it comes about my personal location, I wouldn't even dare to say stuff <laughs> like Wow. <laughs> yes, it's more like I give you this whole very random stuff. I'm at home. Also, like, I won't actually tell you this is exactly where I'm staying or something. I like some dislikes. likes. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you really literally wouldn't even <laughs> tell the person about you. Okay. Um, there's a place of pornography. People worry that internet dating is in, um, encouraging pornography. Married people who are trying to escape from their marital issues go online, pretend to be single, meet people online, and then they get to have sex online. Yes, it's a real thing. How do we, how do we sieve through all this? Is this um, something to be worried about? Yeah. Um, before I got married, I was really into a lot of internet um, relationships. I have met some people, maybe just like um, casual relationships, platonic. I've met some really good friends that 
till date I'm still friends with. Okay. So um, in the course of meeting people, I've met people that right from the get go. Yes. What they would ask for is, okay, send me a pic. Mm. And then when you send a picture, they'll be like, okay, no, I want a naked pic. Exactly. And you'll be like, ah, what kind of person is this? So right from the beginning, um, you have to be careful. And then pornography is everywhere. True. It's not just in internet dating or when you're having a relationship. People can easily go into porn. There's free porn everywhere. Mm. And you can easily, there are sites that are just exclusively for porn. Yes. Movies, yeah. So um, it's when you have this focus, okay, why am I going into this internet relationship? What am I looking for? When you, you have like clearly defined goals, then you can easily, okay, when someone comes in and is not in line with your goal, mm -hmm. you can like, okay, discard and just can discard the person and move on to the next one. So Jenny? I don't really think it encourages porn. You don't think so, Jenny? Yeah, not really, because according to what she said, she was like, um, you have to have a specific goal of what you're aiming for and all. But what if you actually, you're actually getting what you're aiming for? Let's say you have a very normal conversation or free, nice relationship with the person, yeah. and he asks you for a nude pic and. You just have to, because in your heart you feel like, okay, yeah, so it's actually clicking between me and this person. person. So it's more like you have to give so there won't be any problem, like you don't have problems with this person. So I feel like hmm, it's actually a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on a very short break, we'll be right? But please don't go anywhere. This is quite mm. interesting. Yeah. So I was asking, if you if you are thinking about internet dating, let's relate it to our traditional matchmaking system we we'll do back in the days. You know somebody who knows somebody. I have a friend that enjoys matchmaking. He will just yeah. tell you, hey, and what's up? What are you doing this Saturday? Come over to the house. I'm having a gig or something. His sole purpose is for you to meet somebody. <laughs> he loves matchmaking. He enjoys matchmaking. Yeah. Can you do that online? Is it something we can take over to the internet? Or as in, is, is it workable? Yes. Yes. Really? Yes, it does. Um, I, I've actually done something like that before. I have this friend, a guy. I, I know him very well. He's a very close friend. And he was very single at that time and seriously searching. Mm. So, and then I had, my best friend was just out of a bad relationship. And so somehow I felt this two would really click because I knew they liked the same things. And yeah, um. so I, I called her up and I was like, there's somebody I would like you to meet. And I feel you guys would really match. And I also told him, and I was like, okay, I'm going to give you his pin and then I'll give you her pin. And then you add each other up. But, and I don't give a disclaimer, if it doesn't work, the whole bit, I'm not to be held liable because it's possible it won't work. Mm. But I just feel, I just have a good feeling a about it. I will convince yes. you. So they added each other up and today they are married. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Mm. <laughs> Jenny, would you try? Uh, if it was, my friends doing the same thing to me, no problem, but from my own personal view, I wouldn't want to do stuff like that because, let's say, I meet someone, a very close friend, like she says, and in as much as he's a friend, uh, I think there's a little bit of tiny feelings for each of us. <laughs> now, so I wouldn't want to, like, you know, pick up someone like, hey, there's this friend I have. No, I'll just let it stick. Like, you have to be my friend forever. Like, if you find someone, <laughs> not from me. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, let's look at age wise. Um, people get desperate. People feel, oh, I'm at a, a, a certain age. Everybody's asking me, you're not settled down. My friends mm. are getting married. They've got three kids, blah, blah, blah. And um, you tell yourself, the next option is, oh, the last resort is the internet. Let me go find love on Facebook, on Google, on Twitter, on BB, WhatsApp, and all what not. Do you think it's a last resort to finding love? Or it's just a place where we could go do normal things and anything could just happen? Love can find us. Should it be, is it an age pressure thing? 
Um, I would say you shouldn't go to the internet to find love with desperation. Because when you're desperate, your sense of judgment gets clouded. Mm. So usually it should just be okay. I'm just out to get fun. And then mm -hmm. if love finds me, Fantastic. I'm okay with it. Yes. So I don't really think that as a result of pressure, okay, I'm getting old, I need to marry. Then you go to the internet. With that, you can easily fall victim to fraudsters or... Jenny. Age, I, is I, it a pressure thing? No, I actually yeah. agree with what she said. Like, it should be something you just... Okay, I'm bored. Let's just see what's happening here. And you just... You You're know. bored? <laughs> Boredom should be a reason to go find love I don't online. know. For my... Loneliness. Yeah, I think. Just let's just see what's happening here and all. But if you're actually very desperate and all, I don't know. Bad things could happen and all. Tell me, what questions should people ask when they meet people they like online, or if someone is saying, I'm interested in you, what are the necessary questions you think people should be able to ask um, for the sake of security, for the sake of the, being sure that this is real? What are the questions you think you should throw out there? The basic questions are there, okay, what is your name, what do you do, where do you live, your family, your background, and all that. But people can easily falsify information. Yes. Yeah. So someone can project himself to be who he is not. Mm. And which I also believe is a vice. Can we investigate? Is there a way of investigating? Depends. Um, the distance. True. If it's like between um, someone is in a far away country, mm. you know, investigating might be really difficult. You have to have someone who is there or someone who could easily do it for you. So I feel people a, a, a lot of times tend to project themselves to be who they are not. And then there are also people, perverts, there on yeah. the internet. Yeah. People who normally don't have confidence to um, approach a lady or they just don't feel good about themselves. They now go on the net and then they give you this kind of like false sense of grandeur and you'll be like who they, they, they are not. So. The basic questions are there. Like I said earlier, it's just your gut. Just be careful and then just go as it, as it goes. Yeah. Mimi, what would you ask someone who uh, is trying to get your attention online? For me, I think I have to go spiritual on this and say, you need to Because <laughs> when I'm done asking you this whole, what is your name kind of thing, and in as much as it might not be true and all, the next thing my God will ask me to uh, be told me to ask you is, uh, do you like celebrity gist? Do you listen to music? Do you watch movies and all? So if you actually pray over it and ask God to show you what to ask or tell you what to ask, I think it's cool. Mm. Uh -huh. So let's look at someone who you finally found love with. You believe and trust that this is the person. And then he goes, I have an issue. I need money. It's urgent. Mind you, in the physical world, where you get to see each other, you help out those you actually like, yeah? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We have friends yeah. that have genuine issues, yeah. and um, they need help. You help them out. And online, you find someone you finally love, you trust the person, and the person goes, I have an issue. How are you sure? This is not the red flag to... This is where I should take a race. And how do we know this is not even genuine? The same way you help someone you were yeah. dating if you, if you were seeing this person online. How do you, how do you, how do you deal with this? For me, that's a red flag. <laughs> you simply wouldn't that help. Is a but red you would flag. help someone you no, see physically. I, I could help, but that is a red flag. And would get me like on my toes. Morning. I'll be like, okay. We are and then I will now have to analyze the and devil like, okay, with the horns. Don't you have family that could help you? What if I wasn't there and all that? So it's, it's a red flag. Mm. It's a red flag. Because some people could actually invest time just like... Oh, to get you yeah. really into that. They could invest time, years, and then just to make that final hit and then you're gone. <laughs> so... <laughs> Would you help? For me, we have I, strangers even on the streets when they need money. Yeah, I think <laughs> then you find I someone would you love actually you... help. It depends on how mm -hmm. into each other we are. And 
but it has to do with like the number of times you get to ask me oh, for financial true. assistance or not. But if it gets to the stage when I'm like, hmm, this is something up somewhere, then it has to stop. But for the first time, I think I'll just, okay, no problem, let's see what happens and I'll help. So then should we encourage internet dating? Is this something we should freestyle? Should we, should we just agree that it's working? People out there, and um, because most of the time we talk, we tell people go out, go to the bar, take a drink, you meet someone who likes you. Oh, go out more often, go to the movies, see a movie, and uh, go to the cinema, see a movie, and all that. Should you just start telling them, you know what? Go online, go to LinkedIn, go to Google, meet uh, people on Facebook, and all that. Hey, just exchange your BB pin, and you'll be just fine. Is it a thing we should start encouraging? Yeah, you could encourage it. I would encourage it in a very subtle manner because they're actually good people that don't know how to socialize. Mm -hmm. They're not good at that. Um, they don't have the confidence to approach a lady and like ask her out. They're very, very, they do well behind a computer or behind their phones. Mm -hmm. um, there was a friend I met earlier and this guy was really, really good. We, we had a very strong connection, as in, but we never spoke on phone. It was just a, a chat thing. And then there was this time he now decided to call me. That was like after over a year. And then when he called me, he couldn't talk. Aww. This guy was <laughs> torturing and I was like, ah. Wow. So he couldn't talk. It took like over like two months before he was able to now have a normal conversation with me. So he now told me that normally he, he stammers, mm -hmm. he stutters. So, but, but behind the computer, he was... Fantastic with his fingers. Everything was just perfect. So you see, for people like that, um, that's like a hope for them to meet people, people. that they actually deserve. Yeah, uh, for me, it's very much it incredible because anything can happen, like you said, anything can happen. But it's more like when you tell someone, hmm, go online, you see someone very nice, you should be like, okay, you have to be careful of the hazards of people you meet online. But there's no problem at all mm. about dating online. Final words, just before we go to the street, final words. Um, <laughs> advice, dating advice when you meet someone online benefits, disadvantages? Okay, yeah. Um, I'm an advocate for internet relationships. I've seen it work. <laughs> yes, but you have to be very careful. Mm. Very, very careful because there are also um, disadvantages. Yeah, where you would meet the fraudsters, you could meet perverts or even serial killers. Yeah, true, yeah. true. So I've heard of people that have died. Yeah. Yes, so you have to be really careful with it and just yeah all right jenny thank you so much for coming on the thank show you thank you so much. much Messi. thank you for having it's me. been wonderful having mm -hmm. you here all right let's go to the street and find out what our viewers think about internet dating we'll be right back please don't go anywhere i think it's good because um change is the only constant in life we are in the modern era so we should allow innovative purposeful you know technological change to happen so you can meet somebody online and then you become friends and things can heat up and then romance can start from chatting exchanging phone numbers and whatever there's no big deal about it if she's destined to be a woman or both of you are destined to be together you can meet at anywhere i have a friend is married and he met his wife online you know yeah and so i support it in a way in dating issue i think is summer advantage uh, to the society in the sense that most times when you get to the internet you see some beautiful ladies you see some girls you know inside the internet you feel like ah this kind of girl is actually very okay like looking at it facially you might believe that the person is okay and by doing that i've seen so many people who actually talk to a girl on the phone on the internet and at the end, at the end of the day they get married they get married through it because by a conversation you try to you know you try to convince the lady and the lady feels you. Most times, in fact, like probably last month or so, I saw a girl because I love being, I love chatting with a Muslim girl. So I saw a beautiful lady on the net, uh, and the girl is, uh, is a Muslim. So I, and I like the girl, and I said, okay, let me even chat with the guy. I even, I even, I even chat with her that so I said, the girl should even come to my school so that I will be able to talk to her very well. So I think he's, he's doing more 
you know, his advantage is actually an advantage. And besides, too, most times, people that you felt, you no, know, you know, that some people normally do something that has to do with ethnic group, ethnic group. They normally look at, okay, well, the girl I want to marry must be from my own state. So when they see such person on the net, you know, they will create, there is always a place in the net that you see the, uh, you see the state of the person. You want to chat with the person just because you, you believe that that person comes from your own state. Internet is a very big opportunity for the world because it gives you the ability to access so many informations easily compared to those days, uh, those are our, our father's days. But people actually have abused it to the extent that people use People use it as a means of fraud and all the likes. But to some extent, if it, 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 if it can be measured, I think it's better, but not always the best. To some extent, I will accept, and to the large extent, I prefer the physical one. I don't think it's a good idea anyway, because I've, I've seen those, they go to the internet, of course, the date, and you see them come back, say, I've got someone, probably a girl or a guy. Well, I don't think it's a good idea. And if you probably get a girl or a boy there, you won't get what you really want from them, except you just want to flares and probably do some things that you know that will not last. Probably just get the pleasure for that day or for two days or one week or probably a year. And then it will not amount to anything. So I don't think it's a good idea. Welcome back, Gender Chatters. It's still the Gender Chat Show. Well, for some people, you can find love in the other space and Facebook, Google+, Plus, Twitter, and the rest is that odd place. For some, it's a story of heartbreak and frost, fraud stars actually swindling them of their money. However, if you think that is something to do, go do it. Get out of your loneliness. Find people. There are actually people who are out there looking for true love. It is real. Internet dating is working for some. Let's take the risk. Let's love. Love is good. Please feel free to drop your comments and suggestions. Participate and let us know what you think about internet dating by sending us SMS and um, like us on Facebook. You see the addresses scrolling on your TV screen. Until next week. I am Adeze Wankwa, see you same time, see you station. Goodbye.